Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.
There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. That is the answer I like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? If I may give you a piece of advice, always listen to others' words carefully. Read between the lines, gauge where you stand with them and who they decry or exalt. The more you know about someone, the greater your advantage. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the day. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Yes. It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors, and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. I'm Ventrue, but I don't disparage any of the other clans. All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my counsel. Yes. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Yes? Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. 
Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. Yes, he's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Yes, they are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. Yes, which is... In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction, the Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kindred society. Yes. Which is... Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Which is... All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. There could be nothing but dust inside. However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact. Or even a mummy. All of these evidence of the supernatural and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. You, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. 
So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Are you ready? I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Who exactly? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate it, but what are you gonna do? Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Who exactly? Only seen him a few times. The way I understand it, the guy's untouchable. And I've never seen him without his muscle, that sheriff. Just so you understand, my loyalties are all but written in blood. So my opinion of the guy is moot. Who exactly? Your typical bloodthirsty movie villain variety vampire. A few years back, I was on bodyguard duty for one of the old boys. Me, a couple of ghouls, and some young vampire types like you. The Sabbat hit us. Tried to pull a dine and dash. Just two of us walked away. And one was the elder. Who exactly? Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Specifically? Santa Monica's quiet, mostly. That is, till you came to town. Not a lot of operators of police here, which is why I like it. Not a beach person, personally, but there are some beautiful sunsets. I guess you wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? Concerning? Specifically? Not easy, even in this country. Military-grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo could take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Specifically? What you want is a Spaz-15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. Few nights work. Specifically? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of requests for those. I blend the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. Specifically? Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. I don't know why. Did you find out anything? Be my guest. Shit! There's some kind of fucking monster! <laughs> 